on guys, it's me, The Everything, and we are back with another video. <clears throat> this time we are doing some Rubik's Cube stuff again. This is just going to be um some more example solves. I already put out a video. I did one where I was in slow motion. And then I did a fast one. Now, I don't have a timer if I were going to do just some solves. But uh, I will be getting a timer soon just so I can do some solve videos. But yeah, this is just some example solve. So I'm just going to do a random scramble really quick. Now I'm not the fastest cuber and I don't use the best methods. So I'm only going to be using Tulip, OLL, and PLL and just um, F2L. I've been trying to learn full OLL and PLL lately, but it's a bit hard. And of course I have low battery on my camera. Let me just dismiss that. Okay, um, so let's get into it. <clears throat> so right now what I do, first is I look around for edge pieces to do my green cross. Now I already see that the um, yellow is matched up, so that means I need to do, um, I need to make sure that these are all oriented correctly. So I see an edge piece here, an edge piece here, and a, um, edge piece here and here. And this one's already matched up. So it's just easy. So first I just do my cross. Simple. I can just um take up the edges. So like this edges over here. I know that um <coughs> orange is right here because orange is right here. And then I know that this is gonna be red, so I can bring this up, turn it to the back, and bring it down. So there is my cross. <coughs> so the next step um is what I'm gonna do is look for a pair, and I um already see one. Uh, this piece and this piece, so I could just bring this up so it's correct. And um, so here it is, they are in the same place. So I could just do a simple bring this down, bring this up, and separate them. Now, what I'm gonna do, sorry, it's just, just a bit hard to see. I look for different situations in my head. So basically, in my head, this is what I'm doing. I'm looking to try to do this, see if that'll match up. Nope. This. Nope. And then I keep doing this in my head by myself. So I see that, and I try to do this as quick as I can. So this will match up with this when it's down here. So I can just do a simple algorithm really quick, which just brings this edge down here. Turn this over here, and the pair is matched up, and I can just place it in. Which I just placed it in correctly. I mean, incorrectly. So that's my first pair. So basically, while I was doing that, I already noticed this pair, um, this, and this so I mean this and this what the heck am I talking about so obviously I could just do the same process and then I just made that pair really quick place it in and I already see this and this so now again I'm doing that same process bringing this back in my head nope doing this in my head nope doing this in my head uh yes that would work but also what I'm seeing is I am seeing that I took out this. So I can just uh, place that back in. I don't even know if I even did that. No, I didn't. It was just a pair that was already made. So then I can just do it again. Bring this over here. Bring this up. Because with that situation, when it made a pair, you can al it's always going to be down in one of the corners. And you can just bring around the edge and bring it up and it will make a pair. So now I'm done with my pairs. Obviously, I'll be doing like multiple different ones. So, um, yeah. So now the next one is... So I see my OLLs, now I'm just reminding myself of the situation. With the L, I do the small F, simple algorithm, and it uh, brings me to OLL. Again, I'm using Tulip OLL, so it won't automatically go to PLL. So I just know, I'll just do my soon algorithm. I see this is over here. Do my anti-soon algorithm. Then I, um, I see that there's going to be no headlights. So I just do the algorithm to get the headlights. There they are. Put them to the back. Do the same algorithm. And then I uh, see this is going to be a U perm. So I already know to do the B2. And then I can see that um, this yellow needs to go over here. So I can just turn it this way. Do the rest of the U perm. And then we're done. Okay, so I will get back to you when we have the other scramble and the other thing so I will see you in a second okay we're back with a pretty good scramble now um <clears throat> so I could already tell I actually did not set this up I just did this behind my back uh actually I did and I could already see that half my cross is already done this is already matched up this is already matched up and this is already matched up it's probably gonna be one of the best situations you can get for um 
if you don't use advanced cross, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I am color neutral, but for this, I will just be doing green cross, and then maybe for some other example solves, I'll do color neutral. So I can just finish up the cross, and then I can already see this and um, this back here. So I can just bring this up, and then bring this up. If that won't work, align them correctly, and place it in back here. And then, um, now I'm just going to look for another pair, which I already found, here and here. Let's try to bring this up. And there, simple alignment. Done, place in that, um, pair. Now from the back here, I will, uh, see this pair and this pair. So, I could already tell that they're not going to be lined up correctly. So, I'm just going to do that. And then, I could just do this over and over. And then, until it becomes a solved pair which it has not yet obviously my fa I can do this very fast um but I'm just going slow for now and then my cube is being bad and then I can just place in that pair correctly there okay so for the last pair I already see um it was actually placed in wrong so you always want to make sure that you place them in correctly so for the last pair I see that's already done place it in and then we're moving on to OLL. So with OLL I already see the situation, do my soon algorithm, even though soon is near. Again, soon algorithm. Okay, now we are looking. I can already tell that this um will, will be headlights right there. It's usually on the left. Do the algorithm. Okay, there's gonna be a U perm. This is gonna need to go um here so I can just and just do it from the back. It's a bit harder to do it from the back because you need to really train yourself, but... and then you're done with that. Okay, I messed up. But still, whatever, you still do your um, U-perm. I'm usually not used to doing it from the back, but yeah, you do your U-perm and then, yeah. So I'll be back to you with another scramble. Okay, and we are back with the scramble. So here it is. I will inspect the cube now. So looking, okay. So I see this can come over here and match that down. Uh, this can come down here, and when this comes down, this will match this up and put that there. So I'll probably we'll do that first. Yeah, okay, I will do that first. So, let's get started. So, bring this down. That'll match up this. I could just bring this down. And that will, um, actually, before I do that... Wait. So, yeah, so, when I bring this down, it'll match this up. And then I could bring this down. This will already be matched up, so then I just know to bring that down. I see this yellow. I could just do a simple move. And then that already solves that. Uh, the pair is in the wrong place, so I can place, so this is going to be, this should be going right here, so I can just place it in. I see that there's a pair right here that's aligned wrong. Oh yeah, guys, if you have any tips for me to do better solves, uh, cause I know my F2L isn't the best and stuff, and a lot of it could be better, just suggest stuff in the comments. So, then I see this pair and this pair. Let's try to match it up. Again, I'm going to be doing this in my head. So, this won't work. And then I see if this will work. Nope. Will this work, I wonder? Yes, that will. But that takes out that pair back here. So, it's just simple. We can just uh, place in there. Bring that up. And then that pair is made. Place in the pair. Then the last one I see here and here. Nope, wrong one. Here and here. So then let's uh, do the simple movements. I actually did learn F12 intuitively, so I don't know any algorithms for F12. So then that pair is made. And then there you're done with the F12. So again, I see the L, small f move. Okay, here's my soon. And I can already see that um, 
there's going to be headlights in the back. So I do that algorithm. Okay, then there's just a simple U perm. Okay, so I will do one more solve and then I will end the episode. I'm sorry there's a bit too much light here. I'm going to try to get a better light. And I'm going to get a better camera because I'm recording with my iDevice at the moment. So Christmas is coming up. I think I'm going to try to get a camera if I get any money. So, uh, yeah, I'll come back to you guys with the next solve. Yeah, with the next okay, scramble. Okay, you're back. I mean. So, simple scramble. I can already see that this is going to be matched up here. I can already see this is going to be here. And then I can just bring this down, turn this down. And then the last edge is right here, which I can do later. So, let's get started. So, bring this down. So it's down here. Bring this over. Turn that down. Then that's going to be over here. So we can, since um, yellow is opposite of white, we know that it's going to be back there. And then we could already see that pair, which I'm doing right now. Okay, so that pair is already made, which I just did. Okay, now I see this and this. No, this and, uh, sorry, it's hard to see. Yeah, this, like I said. So I could bring this up. Try to make the pair. Okay, the pair has been made right here, so I can just place in the pair now. Okay, and then finally, uh, I see this and this, so I could already bring this up. Place it in wrong, place it in here. And then finally, the last pair, which I can see is here and here. Yeah, here and here. Try to match it up. It does match up correctly. Last pair done. And then we see the rod, so we can do the algorithm for that OLL. Do this situation. Okay, oh, uh, that's an anti zoom. And then I could see that there are going to be headlights on the side here. Turn them to the back. And do that headlights algorithm. And then uh, this is going to be a... For a second, I thought it was going to be an H perm, but it's going to be a U perm again. Lots of U perms. So yeah, that was just my um, example solves on for using F two L, O L L, and P L L two. I'll be learning um, one look soon, and I actually did just get a new record today. My average is around a minute, but I did get a new record of um thirty three seconds, thirty three point um point seven four seconds. I do actually have a picture of it. I might, uh, I probably will, like, edit that in, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, just so you can see on the timer that I use, which is just a finger timer on my iPod. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for these, um, example solves. If you guys did enjoy, remember to leave a like and comment down below and stuff. So, um, share with your friends so they can check out my channel. So, yeah, I guess that's it. I will uh, see you later. Everything is out.